They got personality. Put the fist to it if you need it. You know what? I regret not picking up those eyeballs. There we go. Okay. <laughs> What's up, J-Team? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm going to be focusing on TikTok recipes that I saw that are fall related. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of Halloween recipes in there as well. Your girl has definitely decorated a little bit for fall. I'm not even done yet. But if you want to see a little bit of my fall haul, make sure to follow my other channel. Your girl went shopping and I'm not even done. Strawberries. Remove the green part. I've got a little bit right there. Try to make sure they're like the same size for the body part of the mummy. So I'm gonna kind of like align them first because I ain't trying to have one mummy looking a little, you know. You're gonna take a stick and you're gonna put it through like this. Put the top like this oh love please don't let this be harder than what it has to be so right through the middle like this and then meet it with the top like this put it off to the side last one i'm only making four because these are big bodied big bodied mummies okay I have some white chocolate in the microwave warming up because now we're about to stick on the marshmallow hands and the arms. Hands and the arms, no. The legs <laughs> and the arms. And you're gonna stick them on the bottom part of the body right here. So I'm gonna take a little, stick it on. My thing is how do they make sure it doesn't move? Like I'm telling you, stay, stay. Okay, so far so good. I would pick it up for y'all to see it, but we don't wanna mess it up. It's okay if it's a little messy cause we're gonna be dipping this into the white chocolate. Now in the video, she dipped it downward, but I know for a fact that these marshmallows had to be really like basically frozen on here to stick in order for her to have dipped it backwards like that. I mean, come on. Now it's time to dip it. Let's see if this really worked. Oh no. I'm gonna have to sit the mummies down. Now this mummy look like it might wanna cooperate. Listen, that video looked way easier than it really was, okay? But it don't look too bad. It don't look too bad, man. It's cute. A little bit of strawberry showing, but that's okay. All right, y'all, detailed work on this one. I'm telling you, man, I have so much respect for like bakers and cake decorators. I love y'all. I'm on your side. Okay, a little circle. Sit, sir, stay, for you got one droopy eye. I mean, he is dead, okay? Really, do they need to look perfect? Come on now. I'm trying my best. You know what? I regret not picking up those eyeballs from uh, Michael's. The regret. The regret. Let it settle. Just, just, just let your eyes rest. Okay. <laughs> now it's time for the fun. We about to really make this look like a real mummy, okay? So I'm just gonna keep on drooping it. Let's get the back of the mommy. This is what my mummy is giving. I think that does actually look like a mummy, y'all. So, for presentation purposes, let's see what we can do. Let's see how we can make these mummies um better. They just came out the freezer. This is what it looks like. I mean, it do look like a mummy, y'all. It do look like a mummy. Now, she slides hers off. 
Ooh, look at that. Talk about deadly. Talk about blood. Talk about you're dead now. Ooh, look at this one. This is the one that was twisting and turning and doing the most. Here you go, big boy. Ugh. Y'all, they can stand up. They got personality. Look at me, a proud mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, they look so cute. I don't want to eat them, but I will. Okay, so let's go in for the mummy. I'm pretty sure it's going to taste good. We know this, but I still must say it look good, but do it taste good? We about to find out. Mm, mm. It's giving brains. Mm. I gotta go in for another bite. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely making these pencil spider webs. They just look like they taste good. Not only do they catch the eye, but they really look good. So I have some sprinkles right here. I think these are the same ones that she has in her video. That little eye thing in the middle, y'all, I actually did see those at Michael's. I did not pick those up. Cause I mean, it was after the fact, but if you wanna know where to get those eyeballs, they're at Michael's, okay? Also have some pretzel sticks. Ooh, just like that, y'all, just like that. I'm starting in a cross position first. Now, time to take your white chocolate and get it nice and shaken up. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Mm. So, this is not going to work. It's a little too loose. I'm glad I know now. So I'm gonna get a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna put this white chocolate in that Ziploc bag and I'm gonna work it. I put it in this container right here, which is gonna make it way easier on me. All right, so you're gonna start off by putting a big dollop in the center that's gonna hold all of them together, which is important. Now, just gonna go over it. Like this. So after you do the swirl, you're going to now take a stick. You're gonna go like this. All right, y'all, so I did another layer just because I felt like mine wasn't thick enough, but I think they look pretty daggone good. Now I'm going to get some chocolate. Now, since I don't have an eye, I'm just gonna do a little circle. That's the eye. <laughs> That's the eye. Now I'm gonna put them in the freezer. I will say you have to move really fast because the sprinkles, I don't know if they really did sink into the white chocolate. So that's why I put another layer. So I don't know, we'll see. The pretzels are done. Now let's remove them. They should be really easy to remove. Okay, yes. Wow, that looks nice. It's been tough, but I think this was very successful. What do y'all think? Your girl did that. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. First of all, can we clap it up? <laughs> clap it up for me because yeah. I did not 
not make a fresh pumpkin pie. Your girl ain't got time for that today. My husband actually just picked up a Walmart pumpkin pie. Um, I don't know what this is gonna taste like, but it's really good that I'm using this. Um, if this ends up being very enjoyable, then I will definitely consider making a actual real pie and doing the same thing. So this is more of like a trial pie. How much was this? Babe, you know how much this was? This pie? Five dollars. A five dollar pie, honey. Freshness by the 18th. Okay, we all, we, okay, guaranteed freshness. So, Walmart pie, okay? But it don't look bad. It don't look bad. Just gonna press it into the pie. Like this. Take it out. Okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. But how are we gonna get it out? How are we gonna get it out? Okay. All right, all right, all right. A little struggle, but we getting it. It's cute though, it's cute, it's cute. Okay, okay. So what you wanna, oh, I'm sorry y'all. It's, it's really cold in the house, like my nose. Thank you. By the way, I'm not making this for guests. For those of you that are gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's fine. Let's run it again, press it down. Ooh. <laughs> Did y'all hear that? Oh gosh. Maybe I pressed it too close to the thing because I don't know what that explosion was about. That one actually dropped pretty easily. I want to try to get one right here in the middle. Like, I do want to wing it like that, y'all. Because clearly these aren't going to be perfect. So why are we going to even like not go for it? We might as well. I think it turned out pretty well. There we go, okay. Tell me why that one came out so nicely and it was the last one. This is the leftover pie that we're gonna work with later. And now, in her video, she just topped it off with some whipped cream, which I'm here for simple, right? This is like quick, fun, easy, you got people coming over and they didn't tell you about it. So you want to do something cute. That's what this is. Okay. Oh, I want this to look really nice. Let me get it together. Okay. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That is cute. When I first saw this, I did think that it was a little like pointless, but I understand like you just want things to be cute. You know what I'm saying? Like we live in a generation now that's all about the aesthetic and the way things look. Mm -mm. But I get it. You know what I'm saying? Get with it or get left, okay? And because I'm a little extra, I'm gonna add in a little bit of cinnamon on top. Just because presentation purposes. I wish this was sweet potato pie. You could definitely do this with sweet potato pie, but this is pumpkin pie, which I'm not really that big of a fan of compared to sweet potato pie. Comment below, are you a sweet potato pie person or are you a pumpkin pie person? Or you could be both, but which one do you like the most? For me, it's sweet potato pie all day. Now I don't care to taste this, but I will just because I am curious to know, some of y'all may wanna know, okay, what does Walmart's pumpkin pie taste like? Let me let you know. Cause it do look good, but do it taste good? We about to find out. All right. It's just missing a few things, you know, like this ain't your mama's pumpkin pie, clearly. Um, 
it just, it's missing a few things, just a few, but it's not bad. Y'all know if something is completely disgusting, I will say it is disgusting, it is nasty. Some people be thinking, oh, Chain, you like everything. I really don't. It means that you haven't watched every video. Your girl does not claim to like everything. I'm very open-minded when it comes to food though, so it has to be completely disgusting for me to say, bleh, 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 nasty, ugh, ugh. What are we about to do with the rest of this? I'm gonna show you. Get you a bowl. I'm gonna grab some gloves. Cause we're gonna make pumpkin pie pops. Basically cake pops, but pie pops, I guess. It's really all the same thing because cake pops are very like mushy. They're not very cake-like, which is kind of why I don't really like cake pops like that. I enjoy the spongy, moist, taste of cake. Leftovers in a bowl. Mush it together. You wanna just try to really, really mush it. I mean, you could blend it, but see, then it doesn't become really convenient, does it? No. Put the fist to it if you need it, okay? Now it is nice and mushed. I'm sure you can go ahead and ball these up and start the process. But after tasting those mini ones, I want to add in a little bit, okay? Is that all right? Cause I know you got this in the cabinet. Cinnamon, a generous amount. Ground allspice, just a tad, this is, this is strong. And a little bit of nutmeg. And also, a pinch of salt. Now, if your mama made it perfect and right, then you don't gotta do all this. This is just because of what we have here, okay? I feel like I'm being a little too hard on the Walmart um, pumpkin pie. It's not nasty, y'all. It's just not up to par in the way I would like, okay? All right, now we're gonna mix that together. Mix it real good. And now it is time to start shaping these into balls. All right, try to make sure your balls are as perfect as possible. This one is about to be the biggest one. Y'all, I am known for making things way too big. <laughs> like are these huge? For cake pops, I don't know. I'm gonna put these in the freezer, let them get nice and hard, and then we're gonna be dipping it in melted white chocolate. While it's in the freezer, pouring in the white chocolate. I also have, have these two uh, styrofoams. Just in case we really do this whole cake pop thing, honestly, last minute, I might just keep these Balls, like balls, Jesus. <sighs> pumpkin bites, there we go. Pumpkin bites, we are not gonna call these balls, okay? Time to grab them out the freezer and let's just go to the next step because people are coming over, remember? This is a quick, quick dessert to come up with on the fly when you have people coming over. Make sure to be really careful with melting your chocolate in the microwave at that. If it gets too hot, you don't waste it, okay? cause it's gonna get really hard. So make sure to keep an eye out on it. If anything, leave it in there for a little bit and then when the chocolate starts to melt, just take a spoon and keep on stirring it and it'll all melt together. See, this is what it looks like, but after stirring it, it's going to melt. Get this out the way. You gotta take your time with chocolate, okay? You gotta take your time. Stick a little bit of that chocolate on the stick, this is going to help it stick to the ball. Poke the ball down like this. Hopefully y'all can see. Dip it in, twist it. And part of me wants to, I just don't know if we're gonna be able to do this whole, I feel like it's, you know what, let's just try it. Honestly, you just gotta try your best. That's all that matters, y'all. Just try your best. 
And who gets to decide what your best is? Surely not someone that's just watching and not doing it with you. <laughs> like, if you get what I'm saying, shoot, a word, okay? A word, ooh! I don't want it to get on my hands. Make sure to follow me on Instagram so y'all can see how I'm about to make this not look like a struggle. Leave this emoji under this video just so I know that y'all actually we're here during the struggle. It's gonna be on Instagram, so make sure to follow me on there so we can kind of have our little key key about it. <laughs> My girl, I know, you did that girl, you did that. You made that work. They have been sitting here getting nice and firm. We're gonna say, we're gonna say firm, not hard. <laughs> this one is really ready to go. Like this one, look at this. Look at this one. It dripped all the way to the bottom. <laughs> okay, this one wanted to be a cake pop so bad. No, no, no. Right? Do a little shimmy shimmy. <laughs> It's just funny. It's just funny because they look so funny. They look so funny, but I know they're gonna taste, I know they're gonna taste good. I mean, it's white chocolate. Oh man, anything covered in chocolate is nice, you know? Come on, little buddy. It's the big one right here. Ooh. And this is what we have a pumpkin bite. Now it's time to taste it. Now I did elevate this pumpkin pie. So we really about to see if this gonna hit or not. Way, way better. A pinch of salt do a lot. That be some of the secret ingredients in a lot of stuff. A lot of sweets, pinch of salt, that really, just helps, it helps so much. I'm on the couch, that means I'm tapping out, y'all. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Big shout out to the J team over here. If you wanna shout out like them, all you have to do is click subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let me know below, and I will see y'all on Instagram so we can kiki about those pumpkin bites, okay? <laughs>